made it. No problem. It's just a little colder up here than the last time I was up here. Well, more snow at least. Hello and welcome to another Bosky Net adventure. My name's Jeff and I want to thank you all for joining me on this adventure. Uh, as you can see, if you've been watching my videos, it's progressively getting colder and colder and colder. We've got more snow on the ground and if the weather forecast holds true, we might actually get some snow tonight. So I actually found a spot right here that I'm gonna try putting my tent for tonight, just so that I'm not sleeping directly on the snow tonight. Uh, it looks like it'll fit my tent. I dropped the bag off here. Uh, my plan is to have a fire tonight, and I did see some good pieces of wood on the hike up to this location. So I'm gonna backtrack a little bit, go collect it, and uh, start setting up camp and everything again i want to thank you all for joining me uh hopefully we'll make this a fun adventure and uh, we'll talk to you a bit more soon
find your layers. I wasn't sure if I was going to need them, but I did bring a pair of snow pants with me just in case. Extra quilt, extra fleece blanket, got my jacket, extra layer for later on tonight. I love that guy. Uh, I got my clothes, got snow pants just in case my legs start getting really cold. All right, I am going to get back to processing this wood and just getting myself, myself a little bit more prepared for this evening. later.
I am going to build my fire on that log and see what becomes of it by the end of the night. Big old stash of things. I found this uh, fire starter. So I don't know if it's any good or crap, but I do have some other ones. You know, we'll get this guy going. All right, while the uh, fire's starting to crank up, I am going to make a cup of my favorite, the apple cider. So I'm gonna get that going now just to uh, have something warm to drink on hand. I once again brought up with me my titanium cup with the insulator. Cause that worked out so awesome last time. Good. Spiced apple cider. That's what I'm going after. Yeah, keep it awesome. All right, I'm back. The fire's going strong. This is good. Um, I want to give you guys just kind of a couple of reasons why I'm out here tonight. Um, 
tonight's a trial run. Um, a trial run for a couple of things. I do have a couple of pieces of new gear. I've got some waterproof socks on. They seem to be holding up quite well. My feet aren't wet. Um, and they're actually quite warm. So hooray for waterproof socks. Um, the other thing that I am testing out is my sleep system to see if it's adequate enough for this cold weather. My truck is at most a half a mile that way. It's not too far away. So uh, my thought, my rationale behind this camp was, okay, let's prove out some things. As we're starting to get into the winter here, the winter months, I, I still want to be able to come out and do adventures. Uh, I've always wanted to do the cold weather camps. I did them as a, as a youth, as a boy scout. I want to do them now. So I figured with the truck nearby, let's test out a few things, see if you can stay warm. I, it goes back to my whole motto, you know, if you're gonna fail, fail quickly and uh, have, a, have a decent enough escape route, right? So with the truck being so close, gonna test out the, the, the sleep system, see if it's adequate before I go out and do something like the three mile hike up the canyon in the opposite direction, which is what I really want to do. Uh, I'd, lo I'd love to do a snowshoeing, you know, uh, camp out. So that's what I'm prepping for. So this camp out tonight is, is just to prove out things, see if I'm up to this challenge. Uh, you know, if I'm not, oh well. Uh, I'm not gonna, <laughs> gonna say I'm not gonna lose sleep over it, but you know, maybe tonight I will. I don't know. I don't think I will uh, with my sleeping bag that I have, with my quilt and a fleece blanket and I have a uh, heated vest <laughs> that I was going to put on while I go to sleep and everything. I think with all of that, I should fare pretty well. I'm kind of excited to try it all out. Uh, the other thing of note for this adventure is there is a chance for some snow in the morning. Now, right now, it doesn't look like there's many clouds up above us, but the, the clouds are supposed to start rolling in at around midnight. Though, who knows with the weather, it, it keeps on changing, right? Um, so fingers crossed uh, that I wake up to some snow. I'm kind of wanting it. Uh, kind of wanting to, to just try that experience out and everything. All right, let's get this going. Tonight, I once again have a Mountain House Adventure Meals. I'm doing the Chili Mac with beef tonight. Uh, this should warm me up pretty good. Uh, it's starting to get dark already. So I'm going to get the uh, stove fired up and get that going. All right, let's see here. How much water do I need? 355. If you're ever curious on what this looks like before rehydrating it, just like that. Some macaroni, some beans. Yeah, 
It's pretty tasty. All right, now I'm gonna go stick this in my sleeping bag here. That way, it'll stay insulated. I'll be back. While uh, dinner was rehydrating, I decided to throw on my snow pants, some extra layers, and uh, decided to get uh, a little bit more comfy. Now that the uh, sky is dark, uh, the temperature has rapidly changed. So it was, it was certainly time to put on more layers. Um, Fire's going great. The meal is nice and warm. I'm gonna dig in. Uh, it's still very, very hot. <laughs> Just so I can see what I'm doing. This is a different headlamp than what I normally use. I actually bought this a long time ago. It's one of those ones that has the full cob LED up front. I kind of like it, it's low profile, fits excellent. You click the button a couple more times and it's got a spot off to the side. It actually works quite well. I like it. So I have myself an early morning tomorrow. Mandy has a work party and she's kind of in charge of it. And I promised her that I would help her. And so that means I have to be back down in the valley uh, and all put back together by 9 a.m. So it's gonna be an early rise for me. I'm thinking I'm going to be getting up in about 5.30ish just so I have plenty of time to pack up camp, get down the trail, get to my car, warm everything up because it'll be frosty, and uh, make my way down the canyon. I do hope I'm not giving off any vibes like I'm miserable out here. This is actually quite nice. I'm actually quite warm. Plenty of layers, gloves. I don't have the heated vest turned on yet. I'm saving the batteries for tonight. Uh, but everything's, everything's nice and toasty. Good fire. It's just, very still out here. There's like no wind. As you can see the fire's just going, the smoke's just going straight up. Not a, 
not a whole lot of wind or anything like that to contend with. The stream is just down here. I don't know if you guys can hear it on camera, but I can hear it. It's quite soothing. I'm enjoying it. clouds haven't moved in yet I can still see stars so I don't know if I'm gonna get snow in the morning now I do want to take this time and do a shout out to all of my subscribers thank you so much for being part of the bosky net adventure your your subscriptions and your views uh, are motivating me to continue doing this so I've been having a heck of a lot of fun doing all of these uh, campouts and sharing them with you. And uh, I'm glad you guys have stuck around to, to join me. Thank you so much for your support and for the, and for the comments too. I, I really appreciate hearing from you and I'm glad to have you along on these adventures. I'm going to sit back and just enjoy the fire for the rest of the evening. Kind of pack everything up, put the camera gear away and everything. It sure has been great having you with me. Thanks for joining me. All right, everyone. Well, I've decided to call it a night. Uh, it's around 9 o'clock. So uh, the night was getting on. It was getting chilly. So... I uh, got all into my sleeping gear. Gonna call it a night. Oh, to note, uh, as of coming into the tent uh, and getting ready for bed, I didn't see any more stars in the skies. So the clouds have started to come in and just maybe we'll get some snow in the morning. Fingers crossed. Good night. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I made it through the evening, no problem. I uh, stayed nice and warm. Uh, looks like the sleep system is going to be perfect for me for the winter time. Uh, there's maybe just a light little flurry in the in the air right now. I don't know if you guys can see it, uh, but uh, it's definitely not too much snow. Um, but I'm going to get packed up. Like I said, I've got a busy day with helping Mandy with her work party and everything else. So uh, I'll sign off from here. Um, I just want to express my appreciation for all of you who joined me on these adventures. And if you like the content that I'm providing, uh, be sure to like and subscribe. It would really help the channel. And if you have any comments or questions, be sure to make them below. I love hearing from you. This has been a Bosky Net adventure. Thanks for joining me. Bye now. Here we go, river crossing at night. Well, this is not night. The poles help. 